Hello, thanks for coming to this intro to Class Dojo with Mrs. K at Susie Reyes Marmon Elementary School. This video, we're gonna take a look at how to open a free Class Dojo account, create a class, add students individually, or by importing a list, we will edit the class, you will explore some options, settings, and the toolkit. We will invite parents and look at ways to share the class with other teachers. And we're gonna set aside the um, some of the features of portfolios and class story for another time. Before we jump into Class Dojo, let's make sure you've got a class list on an Excel spreadsheet. If you don't have one already, log into Synergy, select Teacher View, and next to Charts and Attendance, select the Reports tab. I recommend the Classroom Roster Report. You're going to download that. It'll take a moment to populate. And once it does, you can um, copy the student names and we'll have an option to paste a list of names a bit later. There will be a few letters to delete, but it should save you some time. And now we're ready to head to Class Dojo. You're going to select Teacher if you're creating a brand new account, and you can type in your name and information. I'm already set up. So I'm going to select Create a New Class with the plus sign. And you can see that I've logged into my elementary school, which will help sharing classes with other teachers on my site. So I'm gonna tap that blue plus for a new class. I'm gonna give my class a name just calling it class name, select your grade. Now, when you um, open this, you're gonna have an option of sharing only positive points, which is the default, sharing all points with families, or not sharing points at all. So the option that you choose is gonna fit your situation. I generally show all points with families, um, but I do use the negative points very cautiously. Now you're in, you're gonna add students. You can type students individually by name, um, first name and last name. We also have the option of selecting import list. You can import from Word or Excel. I'm gonna scooch over here to my Excel spreadsheet of student names, going to highlight them and copy, and then paste my students into the class list area. So just copy pasting that list. Go ahead and click Save. I will have the option to adjust them if the last names are in the first name column. If they're reversed, you can just switch those, but my students were in the correct order, Mickey Mouse, so I'll click Save. And if I need to add an additional student that I forgot or that wasn't on the list or I know is gonna sync with Synergy tonight, I can type in their first and last name here. We're gonna get Elmer Fudd in the classroom. And now we've got our kiddos. So here, uh, Class Dojo thinks I'm ready to invite parents, but I am actually going to go uh, back into the class. I'm gonna click on the gear to adjust settings. And I'm gonna um, start with the information. If I wanna change the name for the class, um, I might decide to call our students the awesome second graders or name it by my, my classroom name. Students, here is where you can come to adjust or to change their avatar. Here, um, you've got the standard uh, class dojo avatars, but if you click on that image, you do have access to some other options. So this is where you're gonna go to change a student's avatar. If they've got a monster maybe with some creepy teeth that they don't like, um, I always want students to be happy with their avatar, even if choosing the avatar is a, a privilege that they can do by earning a lot of points. I like the reading monsters because they all have books in their hand or they have um, literacy themes like thing one and thing two. We're gonna go into the skills. We're not gonna invite parents just yet. And in the skills, you um, generally students can earn one point per skill. However, you may have some skills such as persistence that you want to really celebrate and they might be worth two points, for example. So you'll click save. Not everybody uses the negative points and I do so with caution. 
So if there are skills such as dis uh, distracting others that are factors that I want to document, I'm going to use Class Dojo as a way to keep track of those behaviors as they're happening because it's got a timestamp. I'm going to be very cautious with students and um, I may or may not have points. This could just be a warning and a little documentation or they may lose one point for distracting other students. But I'm not going to use this system to embarrass or humiliate students and I'm going to depersonalize the behavior management. I noticed you were distracting other students after I've reminded you. I'm going to make a note of it. So what we're doing is we're labeling the behavior and we're tracking the behavior and it is not a penalty. Um, as soon as the student who has been corrected is back on track, I'm going to work very hard to award a positive point. Um, an off-task behavior might not be a deduction. The settings here, it makes sense to leave as they are. Parents have the option to comment and other students do not. If you allow students to comment, it does require you to acknowledge that um, you're doing so without being able to monitor comments before they're posted. So I say leave those settings as they are. And now we're ready to get back into the class. So you're gonna tap on that globe icon to enter the class. And now we've got our emojis, and now we're ready to take a look at the options. I like to start with display settings on the bottom. If you've got a smaller class, you may want to have bigger emojis. You can choose whether to show student last names. And um, in general, um, you can show notifications for positive behaviors, and I like the positive sound as well. I can show notifications for a needs work behavior, but I generally turn the sound off because I don't like to hear it and I don't think students need to be embarrassed. We're just tracking the points. You may choose to show a combined total for points. You may separate the points or you may not show points at all. So this is how points look when they are separated with the positive and the needs work. I think I prefer a simpler um, approach with the display settings and I will show a combined total and the choice is up to you, whatever works best in your setting. So let's take a look now back at some additional options. We're going to think about resetting the bubbles. You can save points for a week or a month in order for students to earn prizes, or you can choose to reset the bubbles at the end of each day and begin with a fresh start. Perfectly fine to do it whatever way works for you and for your students. I do like the, um, if you reset the bubbles, the points and the documentation still is available through the reports. When I share reports with students, I slide the screen to the side so that individual scores cannot be viewed, and I use it for goal setting. Yay, we've got 94% positive. Let's look at how much on-task behavior we've got and see if we can reduce the number of times that students are distracting each other. I do award a whole class points for positive, but I never award a negative point to the entire class because there's always a chance that that one student was behaving even when it seemed like everybody else wasn't. Um, all of the points that are awarded, whether or not we clear the bubbles, are available on the individual record for students. And I think we're ready to invite parents. We're going to click that parent link to invite. You're going to type in or copy paste their email address and you'll um, send the blue invite. You'll keep a percentage score of how many of your parents have accepted the invitation. And once your parents accept the invitation and are connected to the class dojo, they are able to message you through class dojo so that you can avoid giving out your personal um, contact information. Class Dojo has a lot of similar features to Seesaw, though I think Seesaw is definitely a better platform for delivering lessons, but uh, Class Dojo's got a better format for messaging and tracking the behavior points. So I think that about 
does it. And if you've got a specials teacher for music or art that would like to use Class Dojo, you can invite them to award points to your students as well. Thanks for coming to this intro to Class Dojo with Mrs. K. I hope I was able to answer the questions that I set out to answer. If not, fire off an email to coons underscore e at aps.edu. And if I don't know the answer, I will find someone who can. Happy e-learning.